Palais Castle is a neo-Renaissance castle in the Carpathian Mountains, near Sinaia, in Prahova County, Romania. Built between 1873 and 1914. Its inauguration was held in 1883. It was constructed for King Carol I. When King Carol I of Romania, first visited the site of the future castle in 1866, he fell in love with the magnificent mountain scenery. The king commissioned the construction of a royal hunting preserve and summer retreat on the property, and the foundation was laid for Palais Castle on August 22, 1873. Several auxiliary buildings were built simultaneously with the castle. Palais became the world's first castle fully powered by locally produced electricity. German architect Johannes Schultz won the project by presenting a more original plan, something that appealed to the king's taste, a grand palatial alpine castle combining different features of classic European styles, mostly following Italian elegance and German aesthetics along Renaissance lines. Works were also led by architect Carol Binisch. Later additions were made between 1893 and 1914 by the Czech architect Karl Lehmann, who designed the towers, including the main central tower, which is 66 meters, 217 feet, in height. The cost of the work on the castle undertaken between 1875 and 1914 was estimated to be 16 million Romanian lay in gold, approximately 120 million US dollars today. Construction saw a slight slowdown during the Romanian War of Independence against the Ottoman Empire in 1877-78 but soon afterwards the plans grew in size and construction was quite rapid. Palais Castle had its official royal ball of inauguration on October 7, 1883. King Carol II was born at the castle in 1893, giving meaning to the phrase Cradle of the Dynasty, Cradle of the Nation that Carol I bestowed upon Palais Castle. Carol II lived in Foyser Villa for periods during his reign. Princess Maria died there in 1874. After King Michael I's forced abdication in 1947, the communist regime seized all royal property, including the Palais estate. The castle was opened as a tourist attraction for a short time. It also served as a recreation and resting place for Romanian cultural personalities. The castle was declared a museum in 1953. Nicolae Ceaușescu closed the entire estate between 1975 and 1990, during the last years of the communist regime. The area was declared a state protocol interest area, and the only persons permitted on the property were maintenance and military personnel. Ceausescu did not like the castle very much and rarely visited. After the December 1989 revolution, Palais and Palliser Castle were re-established as heritage sites and open to the public. Originally personal property of the royal family, Palais Castle was nationalized when King Michael was forced to abdicate and into exile by the communist government in 1947. In 1997 the castle was returned to the royal family in a long judicial case that was finally concluded in 2007. King Michael subsequently said the castle should continue to house the Palais National Museum, as well as being occasionally used for public royal ceremonies.
In August 2016 the body of Queen Anne lay in state in the Hall of Honor at Palace Castle in a ceremony attended by the presidents of Romania and Moldova, prime minister and other national leaders. This was followed on December 13, 2017 by King Michael lying in state in the same location in a similar, but larger, ceremony prior to his funeral in Bucharest and his burial in Cortea de Argus.